sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah! What happened? Oh, the matter. Oh my God. I blocked. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jesus. Oh. You know what? Okay, let's go to the hospital. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Lord, I am desperate for and handsome. I choose to trust in your name. Issues of life weigh me down. I choose to die for you. Mr. Emmanuel, it is well with you. Thank you. We are very sorry. Your wife has miscarriage. We are very sorry. Again? <gasps> Take it easy. Take it easy. Though we are still investigating her, if there is no complication by tomorrow morning, we will discharge her, okay? It is well with you. All right, thank you, doctor. Let me Face. <laughs> you call this a face? A face? So, where will the face pass? This is our seventh year in marriage, and I've lost count of miscarriages. Where will I carry my own baby? Hasami, when, when, when will I be called? Eh? When will I be called after my child's name? I am tired. No, no, dear. I, I, I believe we, we will carry our baby. Our baby will come someday. When? When is that day? Is it with the masquerade beating that made me to lose the pregnancy every time? Dear, see, see, stop referring to this masquerade of a teen. It's just a dream experience. Stop making it as if it's real. Oh. Oh, but doctor told us we are fit to have babies. Oh my God. Are you not getting it? You said I'm making a real as if it is real. Is it not real? Doctor said we are fit. Fine. We are fit. That's why I could conceive and then have pregnancy, carry it for a while. But what about the masquerade? Can, 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 I don't know. Can you see what I'm saying? After the beating, they will lose the pregnancy. And you are telling me I'm making a real thing as if it is real. Let's face the reality. We are not getting younger. We are not getting younger. Lord, I am desperate for and handsome. I choose to What is really happening? In your name. Is my wife possessed? Issues of life or is this masquerade from my family? Or my family? I choose to die for you. I love my wife. I trust in you alone. and I don't want to divorce her. I hope my husband will not divorce me. Can I have another wife secretly? What if my husband decided to have a second wife? I can't do that. I'm a believer. A Sunday school teacher. God, please take away my reproach and give me double for my shame. God help me. 
and give me double for my trouble. Jesus, oh. please save my home. Save my home. I'm ready, honey. Can we pray before we sleep? Okay. Pray for us. Oh. <clears throat> In Jesus' name. Our Father, we thank you. Thank you for what you have done. We say thank you. Thank you in Jesus' name. As you are about to sleep, Father, Sincerely, madam, the story is a common one. Yes. You see, many people with similar cases have come to me. And I tell them, as a counselor, that it is a battle of the unseen that requires unseen weapons of victory. Battle of the unseen that requires the unseen weapons of victory. Yes. So what are the unseen weapons of victory? Good. They are kingdom weapons that has unmatchable and undeniable outcome in the lives of everyone that engaged them. What are the weapons? Thank you. Prayers, praises, thanksgiving, Faith in God and His Word. Right, I'm. I've prayed, I've prayed, and prayed. I've prayed and fasted severally. My husband and I have been to different ministers of God, so called pastors, prophets, and then them. All without fruits. It has not yielded any fruits. I'm here so that you can give me good advice and some words of wisdom. But here you are telling me the same thing we have heard from the so called men of God. Oh. I'm sorry to disappoint you. <sighs> but you see, my prayers and counseling have worked for so many people with similar cases. And I believe yours will not be exempted. My help, oh Jesus, Lord my Jesus, help, oh Lord Jesus, my help, oh Father and my God, my God. you are our God, you are our King, God. you are the King. You are the, you are the Prince of I am that I am, no one like you.
Father, we give you praise. We say no one like you. And so, dear Lord, Father, Lord, we give ourselves unto you. Father, Lord God Almighty. Father, Lord God Almighty. Father, Lord God Almighty. Lord, we believe in you. We believe in what you can do. Lord, we know you are capable. There is no impossibility in you. With you, all things are possible. Oh Lord, Lord, oh Lord, Lord, oh Lord, Father, oh Lord, oh Lord, our Lord, God, in the name of Jesus. And on you shall all men in go. Father, Lord Holy God Almighty, Holy we have Spirit come to you, Lord, in your mercy. In we have come to you, Lord, in the multitude of your mercy. Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. Psalm 23. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. I want us to pray that we will lack nothing good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be with Father, Lord, shall we pray? according shall we pray? to your word, Father, we'll we say we will not oh, lack Lord. in oh, the mighty Lord. name of Jesus. Oh, you are our shepherd. Oh, you are capable to provide for all, all that we need. Well, Ma, I'm just here to appreciate you for everything. And also to inform you that I'm at the last month of my second trimester. You know, just one more trimester to go. And then and I remembered really that that thing uh, occurred mostly at the last stage of my first trimester or very early. Very early, I mean, maybe the first month of my second trimester. But thank God I've passed that stage, I know, I've passed all those, all those races. I'm, 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 I'm deeply happy. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. But you should not forget doing those things. Ah, hey, how would I? I would not do. I won't at all. If you continue doing those things, definitely you will carry your baby a few months. What do you want? Are you talking to me like that? Yes, of course. And who are you? Why am I even asking? You are nothing but a thief. <laughs> who is backing you up? The person wants to kill you. Because if you say one more word, I will kill you and kill the baby in you. You lied. Liar. You are a liar. <laughs> this is not the lady you used to know. I am not firebrand. And for your information, if you move to me, you will be consumed. And if I run into you, oh my God, I will roast you like roasted yam. <laughs> and let me tell you one more thing. This baby I'm carrying, you have nothing to do with him. There is nothing you can do to him. I will give back to him. <laughs> it is not possible. You cannot have a baby of your own. Say zoo. Say zoo. Hey. See. Don't dare come closer. <laughs> Thank God for the life of my counselor. My shield. My buckler. My helper. Hey? If not for her, you will have succeeded in destroying this pregnancy too. So, your cancer or is your backbone? Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't what you want to do! Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. For me. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Go. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry, yeah. sorry, dear. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 
Mr. Emmanuel, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Do you know what? Uh, though the baby was born prematurely, and we really try our best. We try everything we could do. But unfortunately, we lost the baby. <gasps> Take care, to be a man. Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> Mr. Emmanuel, wait, do you know what? <gasps> I'm congratulating you because of the survivor of your wife. Yes. It was only God that saved her. Because right in there, it was a big tug of war. She was gone. All hope was lost. But suddenly, she just came around and she's alive. How is she now? Mm, she's stable, she's calm, and she's okay. Please, can I see my wife? Definitely, she's your wife. You can see her. Oh, okay. So let's go to the world. Ma, being her life today is nothing but God. I mean, I lost my baby. I almost lost my life in the process. You know, that's the most terrible thing I've ever experienced in my life. So, so, so terrible. So terrible. He was able to attack you. When your own friends knew as your helper, your buckler, even your cheat, of which I'm not, the Lord God is our helper, a present help in time of need, our shield and our buckler. You even said, if not for her, ah, me? No! I can't say that. I am just a vessel in the hand of God. You don't give me the glory that belongs to God. All glory must be to our God. Okay? <coughs> it is well. Oh Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would help me. Forgive me and help me. There is strength on my, my knees. Knows. There is power in my tongue. Power in my tongue. And fire in my heart. For the first time, my husband is neglecting me. For sure. He is tired of me and I can't blame him. Meanwhile, it is not my fault too. Nobody should blame me. If I have children outside this marriage, I have tried enough. I'm fed up. Lord, I am desperate for an answer. Saints of God, welcome to another edition of Unveiling the Mysteries of the Kingdom. Today on the program, we have a very captivating topic, and it is captioned, The Faith That Quenches the Fairy Darts of the Wicked. On the program with me today, I have a wonderful man of God, a renowned prophet of the Lord, um, Pastor Mike Iriayo. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. I want to thank you especially for creating time out of no time because I know you're a very busy person. Thank you so much for knowing our invitation. Uh, thank you, all praise to God, and uh, thank you for having me on the program. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for coming. All right, sir, we'll go straight into our topic of the day. Sir, as a minister of God and um, as a man of violent faiths that I've known you for over the years, um, with your wealth of understanding and experience of the things of the kingdom, what exactly can you tell us about the faith that quenches the fairy deaths of the wicked? Thank you. Uh, after 
uh, salvation, uh, faith is one of the greatest uh, assets in the kingdom. You know, it's of a necessity for every believer to have faith. I know the Bible made us to understand that it's impossible to please God without faith. So faith is inestimable value uh, in our work with God and in the world of Esplod. Wow. Um, thank you very much, sir. Can you explain more? Like, explain further. Uh, you know, the, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9, the Bible says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So having faith is having dominion to quench all the fairy dirt of the enemy in the world that we live in today. Look at what the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 16. Above all, taking the cheat of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fairy dirt of the wicked. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 33 to verse 35. O true faith, subdue kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtain promises, Stop the mouth of lion, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of sword out of weakness while made strong, wax valiant in fight, turn to fight the armies of aliens. Women receive their dead race to life again. And you know the scripture can never be broken. You know, and the Bible scholars describe this kind of faith as God's kind of faith. You know, this is the faith that is ever willing faith, yeah. ever conquering faith, yeah. ever triumphing faith yeah. over the battles of life, yes. ever restful faith in the battles of life and over the storms of life, yeah. unbending, unyielding yeah. order of faith. Yes. So the, the, the reason the enemy is afflicting, tormenting, and buffeting most believers today is because their inner spirit and their soul are dead. You know, they are dead, the zero kind of faith. They don't have faith, let alone little faith. Mm -hmm. Their faith is zero, and with that being said, the, their inner spirit and soul can never stand the test of time mm -hmm. um, because they are as good as dead. Mm -hmm. So it's expected for every believer to take responsibility and get out from every form of fear, uh, doubt, uh, every form of defeat. You know, the, the Bible talks about David of how he encouraged himself in the Lord. And, uh, you know, God told him that he should go after his enemy, after the besieged the city of David, the Bible says that he pursued, he overtook, and he recovered all. And the Bible says that, you know, we should fight the good fight of it. Fight. What God has done for one, he can do for another. So it's our responsibility to encourage ourselves in any position we find ourselves in. And that is the plan of God. I therefore challenge every believer today that has been defeated at all time to stand up Arise and take responsibility. And I can tell you that God got your back. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Mm. Oh, thank you so much, sir. That was so insightful. On the final note, sir, what can I as a believer do to build my faith capacity? Oh, we have many of them. And uh, because of the time you uh, you gave me, so I'm just going to talk about four to yes. four to five points. <laughs> you know, first thing we need to understand, you know, just as written in the book of Second Thessalonians chapter one and verse three, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible says that we are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly. So here, the Bible made us to understand that faith grows. Mm. Faith is in capacity. So a man can grow from zero faith to little faith, from little faith to great faith, and from great faith to exceeding great faith. And this exceeding great faith is a violent faith, and this is the God's kind of faith. But let me start with today. The first point I want to talk about of how we can build our faith is by feeding on the word of God. Mm. You know, the, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 27, self-faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. 
no, you, you may choose to read the word of God or perhaps you are listening to the word of God. And it's not enough for you and I to read the word of God or feed the word of God, but you must be committed to put those things to work. And that is when you act on what you have heard or you act on what you have read. So it's by reading and by hearing of the word of God that builds our faith into capacity. And also the Bible described in the book of Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16, it said, the word of God I have heard and I did eat them and they are joy and rejoicing. So we listen, we read the word of God so as to build our faith capacity. And just like I said, it's not enough for you to read or to listen to the word, to those words, but you must be committed putting those words you have heard even to work. And by doing that, I can tell you that your faith will grow exceedingly. So number two, uh, as a believer, you must be committed to work and surround yourself with the people of faith. Mm. The people that have the kind of faith that you desire. You know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 20, the Bible says that he that walketh with the wise shall be wise. So it's of a necessity as a believer to, to walk and to surround ourselves with the, the, the people that have this kind of faith in order for us to tap from the other faith that has been working for them. So the next one is to have absolute trust in God, unwavering trust in God. You know, the Bible talks about in the book of Psalm 125, it said, they that trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that abided and can never be removed, but abided forever. So it is of a necessity for you and I to know how to put our trust in God and our trust in God only. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. You know, the Bible says, but we add the sentence of death in ourselves. So no matter what you are experiencing, the kind of challenges you have, the kind of a sentence that is contrary uh, to the will of God over your life, he said that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God. So the, the next point, uh, please, can you remind me? Uh, what number is that? Um, I guess number four. Okay. Oh, okay. N number four. Okay. So number four is for you to uh, is for you to thirst and long for it. That is the place of desperation. You must be able to uh, thirst and long for it. You know the, the Bible talks about of how Jabez tarried in the place of prayer. He was so desperate, and God stepped down. You know, the Bible talks about Jacob of how he tarried, he fought against God, against an angel of God. And the Bible made us to understand that he received dramatic turnaround. So there is a place of longing. There is a place whereby we need to task for it. You know, the, the Bible talks about Elisha of how he will not let his master go. You know, at a time when the time came for God to take his master and the, uh, the man of God said to his uh, spiritual son, he said, uh, he said, God is sending me, giving me assignment in a, in a so, so city. I will have you to stay here. And, the, the, you know, and Elijah said, no, I'm not going to stay. I'm going to follow you. Yes. And when he got to that city, he said, God is sending me out of this city again to another city. And uh, we saw what happened. He followed to the end. And at the end, we knew what happened of how the kind of faith he desired from his master was released unto him. Also, the Bible confirmed that in the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 3. The Bible says below, When I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saint. And the last one, I think I still have like, okay, I, see, I still have like two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. So the, the, the last one is praying in the Holy Ghost. 
you know, the Bible made us to understand in the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 20 that building up yourself in the most holy faith by praying in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So having communion with the Holy Spirit, having a kind of fellowship with the Holy Spirit by praying in the Holy Ghost, you are simply committing yourself by building your faith capacity. But when you when you align yourself, when you gift yourself to all of that. So all these are the avenues through which we can build our faith into next levels. So all these are the avenues are through which we can build our faith even to quench all the fiery dirt of the enemy that may want to come our way. Therefore, it's by doing all of this continuously that guarantees your victory in the Lord. You know, your testimony is in your hand. It's either you save it for yourself or you sell it to the stranger. May I tell you, I can't wait to share in your joy. And I strongly believe that surely you will come out victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says that in the book of First John chapter 5 and verse 4, Say, whosoever is born of God overcome the world, Hallelujah. and this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. I strongly believe that surely you will come out victorious and you will share your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Faith. It's not a negotiable factor in our work with God. The force of faith is a force to reckon with in the world of exploit. <sighs> Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So having faith is having dominion to quench the fiery darts of the wicked in this world of evil. The reason the enemies are afflicting many believers and tormenting them today is because they are so and their inner spirits are weak. Hmm. No faith capacity. Their faith level is zero. Having said that, the inner spirit and soul can never stand the test of time because they are as good as they hmm. Wake up from defeat fear and doubt. Don't be discouraged. You need to encourage yourself in the Lord just like David did. He went after his enemy after God told him. <laughs> he pursued, he overtook and recovered all. The Bible says, Fight the good fight of faith. Your testimony is in your hand. You either save it for yourself or sell it. You've been fighting and you've been defeated all this while. I have a good news for you. Start using the weapons of faith and your victory is guaranteed. Hmm. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world and even our faith. I can't wait to share in your joy. I see you victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. God, help me. Help me, dear Lord. Help 
big Jesus. I choose to trust in your name. That message is like burning fire in my bones. So I am. Hmm. My prayer life. My fasting exercise. The fear of God has gone down the drain in my life. Hmm. My spiritual life is empty. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know when last I studied the word of God. It's not a thing this good teacher. I now use my Bible as a pillow. When last did we feed our spirit man? When last did we pray together as a family? I remember how we used to serve God, fervent and zealous in the things of God and His kingdom. Praying and sleeping. Praying and snoring. Hmm. Truly, our faith is at zero level. <laughs> yeah, there is no doubt about that. At this junction, we need to start seeking the face of God. And God says, return to me, and I will return to you. <sighs> I want to read from the book of Second Chronicles. Chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, mm. and will heal their land. That is the word of God. Shall we pray? There is strength on my knees. There is power in my tongue. Power in my tongue. And fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. I overcame. Declare it. Confess it all. There is strength on my knees. Power in my tongue. Power in my tongue. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. I overcame. Holy Spirit, moving oh, now, oh, make oh, our lives whole again. again. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, move over me. Of 
of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the over God. Oh, cause the light to shine upon us. In the name of Jesus. And fire in my voice, I overcame. Declare it, confess it all. All my knees, power in my tongue, fire in my voice, I overcame. Every strand on my knees, on my knees, power in my tongue. Shall we pray as we welcome Holy Spirit into our midst? You cannot have a baby of your own. No. For it is written, children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruits of the womb are his rewards. Yes. They shall hear my voice, and the strangers will fade away. Yes. They will be afraid out of their fortresses. Yes. You cannot send me out of my home. <laughs> this is my abode. No. No. Our weapon of warfare, not Kana, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Cast it down. All imagination. Yes. And everything yes. that assaults itself mm -hmm. against the knowledge of God. Yes. Bringing into captivity yes. every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes. See Jesus Christ in Him, the hope of glory. <laughs> This is a battle you can never win. You are lying. Yes. No! This is not our battle. Yes. This battle belongs to God. Yes. The Lord that is mighty. Yes. That is strong and mighty in the battle. Yes. The horse on God. Yes. And the consuming fire. Yes. You know I once told you that I am not firebrand. I am not the person that you used to know. See, if you come to me, you will be consumed. And if I run to you, then you will be roasted. You cannot escape this judgment of the Lord. Today, you shall be judged. Enough is enough. No, no, no. And it is written, for God has highly exalted him. He has given him a name that is above every other name. Things in heaven, on earth, and under the heart. And let every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of the Lord the Father in the and name of Jesus. Jesus. Let me go. This fire is unbearable. You will go in the name of Jesus. 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 You will go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh,
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Oh, we won. We have the victory. Yes. 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 The Lord has done it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord has done it. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 And fire in my bones. I overcame. Declare it. Confess it all. Mr. Emmanuel, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, sir. Your wife has given birth to a twin, a boy and a girl. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. A boy and a girl. Congratulations. <laughs> Victory at last. I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. I'm happy for you. Doctor, thank you. Can I, can I see now? You can go in. You can go in. Just go in. Lord, I am dead. I choose to trust in your name. Issues of life weigh me down. I choose to die for you. I trust in you alone. I am desperate for and handsome. I choose to trust in your name. Issues of life. Where